What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with stage 15 of the Tour de France. Big day in the mountains for the first time since Mont Ventoux and we definitely want to make up ground here with Wilco Kelderman and try and maybe mount a challenge on that yellow jersey. We need to start that today. So today I feel it's going to be very advantageous if we can just get as many riders in the breakaway as possible so i'm gonna try and do that i'll get back to you with the final breakaway okay and the breakaway have gone then again it's lotto and uae on the front i'm sure they'll be there all day for roglic and pagatra of course comrade and Sagan are our riders in the break emrick mass is here for movistar not in the gc and the save bilbao and woods as well so three very good climbers as well as patrick comrades we are now approaching the intermediate sprint and of course this is one of the reasons i wanted to get Sagan in today's breakaway to try and get as many green jersey points as possible at this tour de france more on the boards right now why is emrick mass attacking okay so ue and yumbo visma are lighting it up early on on the monte de mon louis and this is going to be Quite good for Kelderman, to be honest, because on a good day, we want this to be difficult. Okay, so this breakaway has been a mess. So much messing around, attacks constantly. It's been a nightmare to try and manage, to be honest, guys. Anyway, we are still here. And Sagan is going to help Conrad try and take the big amount of points there. I think 10 points at the top of this first cat climb. Okay, and here we go. Emmerich Mass starts to try and light things up. Luckily, Sagan is here to try and help Conrad into the final 800 meters or so. Sagan pretty much done, but Conrad should be able to take 10 points at the top. Eight points, okay. It's not too bad again, but Bilbao did steal that. Okay, we need water, and I've learned from the last episode to do that ASAP when you need to. 114 riders still in the group after that first cat climb, so quite a lot. We only have two minutes in this breakaway, so I'm not sure they're going to go to the line at all today. All right, look at this. Out of nowhere, we've got a Nairo Quintana attack on a flat section between the mountains. Okay, Nairo man. You do you. We're not going to wait for you in this breakaway, though. Bilbao is dangling 30 seconds up front. And Quintana still trying to chase on. It's a good tactic in kind of on paper, I guess, because Gasper is up the road to help Naira Man. Now he's here. He's probably got less energy than Gasper right now, though, and only one and a half minutes on the peloton. Anyway, the Col de puy Moren, not very steep at all, really. Look at this. Average of 4.4%. It looks like a road in the UAE or something, to be honest, more than a French road. And right now, Mark Kershaw is setting an unreal rhythm for Tade Pagatra. I'm sure we'll see a Tade attack pretty shortly. And I've had to press on here with Peter Sagan because we are getting caught in this breakaway group by the peloton. But anyway, here goes Sagan. Let's try and take these five points at the top of this next climb. I think this is going to be the most important moment for comrades in the rest of the stage because I don't think we'll make it to the next climb. Can we take them ahead of Mike Woods? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. Only two points, I think, for Conrad. Up to 60, but some riders are really putting up a strong battle for this KOM jersey. And yeah, like I said, Conrad isn't going to make it to the top of this next climb without getting caught by the peloton, so I do think it's best to drop him ASAP, actually, so he can protect Wilco at Kelderman because Schelling and Sagan both now done. And to be honest, 4K to go on this climb. I'm now thinking we could have really tried to light this up a little earlier because we still have 88 riders in this group. And no way are we going to make a real difference, I don't think, with Wilco anymore. Especially if our main helper, Bookman, look at that block. He was on the wheel and Dan Martin has just kept him right to the back of this peloton. Anyway, I think our only option right now, 1K to go, is just to press it with Wilco as much as we can. Maybe we try something over the top here. Not too sure, to be honest. Let's sit up. I think we may as well sit up. We have actually 10 riders in this group. Let's press on. Let's press on immediately if that is the case. If we can keep Emu in this group, this is going to be just perfect for us. I cannot believe suddenly it's got so, so selective. Only 10 riders in this group. Look at this. Riders suddenly all over the roads. We have Fulsang who was in the top 10. He is massively behind. I know Simon Yates is behind as well. Up the roads, Wilco is just going to try and hammer this descent for, of course, Wilco Kelderman. Let's maybe go 90 with him whilst Kelderman can just sit in the wheel. But to be honest, I don't think it's worth it. I have let Conrad come back in. We'll try and sit up a little with Bookman. Maybe go 55 and then we are absolutely going to hammer this final climb coming up. Here we go then. You can see the climb to our right. It's not particularly long, around, I think, 7K. But Wilco looks pretty good, so we have to try and work for him. 53 riders are now back in this group. Let's try and go really, really quickly from the start. As you can see, I'm doing with Emu right now. 95 with him. We'll then try and settle in with Conrad at maybe... 87. Let's go like this. You know what? I can probably go 90 with Wilco. Bookman absolutely cooked 
after his efforts today. Hopefully we'll see many riders very quickly out the back, including Jakob Fulsang. He was in the top 10 today. He won't be at the end of today's stage, that's for sure. And Wilco looking very, very menacing. And to be honest, I think I probably need to go early here. So you know what, let's just go. Let's just go. Wilco Kelderman is going on the attack here. At the Tour de France, if he's not blocked by his teammate, here we go, Wilco Kelderman on the move. That was not an ideal move uh, with Comrade blocking us off right there. Let's try and go and see who looks at us. Pogaccia, the second place in the GC. Here's the man to try and follow. We have three kids go to the top of this climb. We need to press on. Tade, Valverde, Van Aert is working. So I'm intrigued to see who can follow. We still have apparently 32 riders in this group. Tade is doing his best to get to Wilco Kelderman. We need to continue pressing on. Look at Tade cruise up to our wheel. Is he done though? The second place in the GC. Is he done though? Tade Pogaccia is struggling to hold this wheel of Wilco Kelderman. We are really struggling now as well though. Let's just probably go 85 over the top. Tade is going to stay here I think and we've pretty much cracked just over the line. That's not quite ideal but I think we can probably go 99 in this descent pretty shortly. I can see behind that Roglic has made a move. Primoz Roglic tries to make a move to try and protect his yellow jersey, but hopefully we're going to gain time on him here. So you can see in the end, our lead on the yellow jersey isn't massive. Roglic is flying down this descent, but we have a bigger lead to Aran and Carapaz, and that is really hopefully going to secure our place on the podium. Remember, they are our two biggest rivals in that jersey. Let's put in a dig here. Tade, come on, help me out. So Tade, we're going to have to rely on you now, my man. I've pulled you down this entire descent. We do have a little kicker to the line, so I do need to try and recover a little bit before that. We now have 3k to go. That's probably enough. Primoz is absolutely flying. I think he's actually going to catch us before the line. Anyway, let's go. 1.5k to go. Look at Primoz. He is right here. Let's sprint for the line right now with Kelderman versus Tade. We've gone very early. Wilco going for the stage versus Pogaccia. Roglic isn't going to come. Can we hold off? Tade Pogaccia is going to be close, but Wilco Kelderman is going to just win a stage of the Tour de France here. And we do gain some time on our rivals, but Tade and Roglic, they are unstoppable. And this is also a good opportunity for Emmanuel Bookman to really drop some time, hopefully, so he is now allowed in the breakaways. So we do gain time on everyone. Bonuses on Pogaccia, 12 seconds plus bonuses on Roglic and 32 seconds to the main GC group. Valentin Madaras in that group, by the way, really solid ride by him, you have to say. In the GC though, we're still four minutes down on Primoz Roglic. We have opened up a one and a half minute lead on Iran. So hopefully our podium spot is looking more secure. And uh, I wanted to attack the Slovenians, but um, I think they're untouchable. Second massive lead in green. Comrades, a minute lead in comparison in KOM. Only two points to Primoz. Hopefully we can hold off the two Slovenians there. And yeah, it's looking like a pretty solid race podium and hopefully two more jerseys. Stage 16 though is another opportunity, but no mountain top finish, which will make things a lot more difficult. We'd have to blow things up very, very early in this stage if we want to do anything. Anyway, I hope you're looking forward to that. If you are, make sure you drop a like on this video, drop a sub on the channel as well if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one.